In this video, we're going to break these shapes into different number of equal pieces. We're going to start by breaking these, this rectangle and this circle into halves. Now, when we break a shape into halves, what we're trying to do is create two equal pieces. So, I could do this by breaking it vertically, or I could do this by breaking it horizontally. And that is true for both sides, both the circle and um, the rectangle. As long as I have two equal pieces, then I have successfully broken the shape into halves. And what's important about those two pieces is, is that they have the same area. They don't necessarily have to have the same shape, though it's easiest to break it into halves that way. They just have to take up the same amount of space. Same is true for thirds. When I break a shape into thirds, I need three pieces that all take up the same amount of space. Now, thirds is harder because you kind of have to eyeball it a little bit more. And by eyeball it, I mean you have to try to picture where one-third and two-thirds of the shape would take up. One, two, three. So I can see I have three equal pieces there. I could have done that horizontally as well. But the circle, what's important is I can't just go across, because you could see that these now have three different um, areas. They are not all equal. So in order to break a circle into thirds, you actually have to start in the center and then break it evenly out. So I'm going to start with my center right there, and I'm going to say up here, and then I'm going to try to break it into three equal pieces. And it's never going to be exactly perfect when you're breaking a shape into thirds, but you see that now these three pieces all take up about the same amount of space. Therefore, I broke the circle into thirds. And for it's a little bit easier. I could start by just breaking it in half vertically, and then when I break it in half horizontally, I now have four equal pieces. And the same can be true for the circle. Start by breaking it in half vertically, then horizontally, and you could see that fourths is equal to four equal pieces. Another word for that is quarters. This is how you break shapes into an equal number of pieces that have the same area.